Now let's talk to Ian Whitaker, a media analyst at Liberum Capital here in London. Ian, thank you so much for coming in. No so problem. this is a tactic, right, from Rupert Murdoch mm -hmm. to basically try and delay to see whether the, the weather, the storm will be, will, you know, will have died down in, what, two years? Yeah. A year and a half? Uh, uh, absolutely. I mean, it, it's, if you look at sort of what he's done, I think it's a very smart tactical move from, from Rupert Murdoch for a number of reasons. One, it does buy in time, mm -hmm. so it probably buys them around 12 to 18 months at least. Mm -hmm. it, it gets the UK government off the hook uh, as well. And also as well, I mean, it, if you look at the, the situation in terms of the Competition Commission, then the Competition Commission will look at it purely from the, the competition standpoint. Yeah. And Rupert Murdoch may think, well, actually, from the competition standpoint, they may actually say the bid is fine. But so, in what are the chances of him actually getting the green light down? And what are the chances I get of, you know, the storm dying mm -hmm. down in a year and a half? Because it seems now it's building momentum. We mm -hmm. don't know where it's going to go from here. I think if, if things were to stay as they were, I think there'd be very little chance that this deal would go through. If Murdoch was to have control of his UK newspapers and of Sky B. This is not the sort of scandal that goes away very, very quickly. People have long memories. Yeah. It's going to be the same issue in two to three years' time as it is now. Possibly even more because we're getting close to a general we election. Know. Yeah, we, we don't know what's going to happen. We're getting close to a general election. Obviously, this is a very big political issue. It's the energized the Labour Party and so forth. So it, if things would stand as a status quo, mm -hmm. then I would see very little chance of the deal going through. There is one possible sort of outcome that may change that. And that's if, for example, Murdoch was to sell his uh, news corps was to sell their UK newspapers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if that was to actually happen, then at a stroke you'd get the issues of plurality would go away. Yeah. Obviously, sort of political influence, the concerns there would be lessened, and it would merely be about a major shareholder then taking 100% control of a, of a company. You have said that, of course, this is a tactful move mm. to actually postpone it one or two years down the line, but at mm -hmm. the same time, he hasn't really cut off his ties to Rebecca Brooks. He's still mm -hmm. standing behind her. Mm -hmm. And uh, also James Murdoch. Are we going to see much more management changes for everything to be appeased? Well, I think it, we have to see how, how, how things go. Obviously, this issue still has a long way to go. Obviously, the police investigation will be important. Uh, obviously, what, what the police find will be crucial to, to what happens. I think what you, what you can say in terms of how Rupert Murdoch has handled this issue at the moment is that I, I think, obviously, at the beginning, there was a feeling that maybe News Corp was a little bit behind what was happening. Mm -hmm. I think with what the actions they've taken yesterday, they've certainly put themselves on the front foot. James Murdoch, does this actually hurt his chances of becoming, you know, he's the heir apparent at the moment, mm -hmm. does it t hurt the chance of him becoming as powerful as his dad? Well, I think, he, again, have to see how, how he handles the, the situation. Obviously, Rupert, uh, as Rupert Murdoch has come in, he's, he's obviously taken perhaps a more proactive role mm -hmm. the, than perhaps he, he did before. Mm -hmm. But, again, I think a lot of that will depend on, on what the police find uh, and the, the, the outcomes from that. So. Yeah. So something that we'll have to watch out very closely. We'll have to watch out and see. We'll have to get you back on the show in a couple of months. Okay. Ian, thank you so much. No problem. Ian Whitaker there.